Remember, winds aren't the only impact from hurricanes, and you can see all this moisture. And the longer it stays offshore, the longer places like southern Alabama and northwestern Florida are just going to keep getting hammered with rain. It's not forecast to make landfall until later on tomorrow, maybe in the afternoon. It doesn't matter if it's a Category 1 storm or a tropical storm. It's going to sit over the southeast and dump 15 to 20 inches of rain near the Gulf Coast and then a big swath of up to a foot of rain across parts of, of uh, Alabama and Georgia. We're going to be dry through most of this week, but we have a chance for a little rain Thursday night and going into Friday morning. This morning, we just have some scattered fog. Dense in Harlan, Red Oak, Shenandoah Falls City, as well as Wahoo. So a better chance for the lower visibilities east of Omaha with temperatures in the low to mid 50s to our south, southwest and our southeast. You're waking up to mid and upper 50s in the metro right now. Once again, the sky is clear. Not much is happening as far as our weather goes, but we are going to have that high smoke in the sky three to four miles above us. So no air quality issues as we go through today. Maybe it gets a little lower, a little thicker tomorrow, but still we're just going to have hazy skies over the next few days. So it's not going to have that nice blue look. 83 degrees for a high this afternoon. South to southwest winds gusting 20 to 25 miles an hour at times. And that's what's going to bring the temperatures pretty much for everyone into, into the low and maybe even mid 80s. We'll be in the mid 80s with a haze tomorrow. Cold front comes through and then we're down to 75 on Thursday. There's a chance for rain Thursday night into early Friday. Not a lot. Most of it's going to be north and then we'll get stronger south winds this weekend and that'll push temperatures back into the low and mid 80s.